Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Roblox on Linux. Now, this is a tutorial I made a few months ago, but it got slightly updated, so the procedure is different, but I think it's easier too. So currently I'm running Pop OS 21.04, but you can follow along if you're using other distros. So let's go and search Grape Juice on Google and find the GitLab page. Once this loads in, you scroll down until you find the installation guide. Then you can install it from the AUR if you're using Arch Linux. But we're using a Ubuntu based distro, so you do that. Now I'm running 21.04, make sure you check your version. Next, what you need to do is install Wine. You middle click this, and you go and pick your distro. I'm using Ubuntu, and follow the tutorial thing. So just do this. This will add the 32 bit architecture. And just copy and paste the other things. This will add the key, I guess. Then, I'm gonna do this. Make sure you pick the correct version. Of course, I'm using 21.04, so this is correct for me. Hit enter, and it should add the repository. When you do, you do a sudo app update. Once that's done, Make sure you pick either the development branch or the staging branch because the stable branch doesn't have the Roblox patch yet, so we'll pick development. And this will install like one gigabyte of a lot of stuff. So we're just gonna wait till this finish. it's done now if now if you're low on storage or if you're using a persistent star life like me you might want to do a sudo apt clean so it gives more space I guess so it cleans up the packages because yeah 4.1 gig isn't gonna cut it but we're done with wine now so just need to do all of this we already did app update and app upgrade isn't necessary so all you need to do is just copy and paste this which will install a bunch of stuff required to get the installation thing done and since I'm storage savvy I'm just gonna do app clean again it's not necessary Next, what you need to do is do the git clone thing. So that way, we can get all the setup files and just do the installation. Just do this and it'll install. Now, if you're using live CD, you'll need to enter your password. So I'm gonna make a super secure password. You don't need to do this if you're in a proper installation. This is just for me. Now it's gonna install Roblox as you can see. So I'm gonna let this finish. finished so now you can just go to roblox.com wait I haven't logged in yet so I'm just gonna log in real quick now we can go ahead and play power of hell you 
can do always a loud thing and open thing. So now in theory, we can just play Roblox like so. There we go. We're playing Roblox. Epic. But we're not done yet. You can see how wacky the mouse movements are and if you let go, you cannot move your mouse until you switch apps. So let's fix that now. What you do is you can go back two times here and you can go to the dev forum which has the Discord server for great chicks. We're gonna need this. So yeah, let's just join the great Discord server. Let's just type a random name. Alright, I just logged my Discord account with this live CD because I can't be bothered. So let's just go. Alright, once you're verified, join all of that thing, you go to a quick start, and here you can get fully compatible version 1 with the mouse stuff fixed. So, what you need to do is copy this and put it in the terminal. This will download the YTKG staging FSIG thing. And they'll put it to somewhere and make great juice work. Oh, also if this happens, you need to sudo apt install p7 zip full. I tried the normal version, did not work, so full. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm low on storage again. Yeah. And we're gonna install 5 megabytes of crap. So let's try the script again, just do the python 3 thing, and it'll extract for, for you. And there you go, it's installed. Now you can just play Roblox normally. Now I'm gonna change this thing, it's just ridiculous. Alright, now that we got the wine PKG thing installed, you can just play with them without the mouse issue in your way but you want to optimize the performance even more so in order to do that what you need to do is you go search txbk this will replace 1d3d11 which is fine but if you want extra performance you're gonna need to install this so just all you need to do is go to the release thing and download the latest release. Yeah, let's just save it somewhere. And you want to extract it. Once you do that, you can open in terminal here. And now grape juice installs it in a different wine prefix. You have to specify the wine prefix. So what you can do, you can just copy all this. Just change the wine prefix thing to home slash your username slash dot local grape share grape juice wine prefix. And then just do this. Apparently you should have copied this. I used it. I just do the uninstall thing. It's just two. It's just two words change anyway. And you have the SVK installed. Now you can improve the performance even more by going to the Great Juice setting. So you go type nano slash. You just use this slash dot config slash brinker slash grape juice user settings dot json. What you need to do is to type wine e-sync i'm pretty sure e oh you have to make sure you put that in quotations as well forgot about that wine e-sync one save it and that will enable you to use e-sync which will improve performance even more so let's go and play tower of hell again Alright, so apparently the thing didn't work for me because my. Because. If I could disuse this analyzer, I don't have more. 
any more life storage so the wine dkg thing didn't work for me but yeah if you do everything correctly then you should be able to you know play roblox so here we go a tower fell gameplay as promised thanks a lot And there you go, I beat Tower of Hell, although to be honest, the people are buying perks and all. Dang it. Why did I buy the perks? Damn you! Why did you buy the perks, you foolish? I hate when that happens. I hate the long jump thing. But yeah, basically you're done. Thanks for watching.